All right, all right, people, what's going on? It's your main man. I'm back again. It's your main man, everything by John. Welcome to another episode of the podcast, man. Oh, man, I got somebody real special with me right now. Um, she's a, probably already famous. You probably already know her in, in, in the wholesaling world already from the likes of, uh, well, I'll I, I let her get into it. But tell everybody, the people who, who I got introduced right here on the line. <laughs> Hi, folks. My name is Hanifa Brown. Um, I'm located in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I am the local real estate expert, mm, says okay. I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, excellent, excellent. Um, so yeah, like I said, we have Anita Brown. She's very well known in the wholesale and industry. Like you said, just uh, real estate as a whole. Um, so we're gonna get into everything. So let me let me backtrack a little bit. Let me get into the beginning of the whole storyline. So tell everybody, uh, you know, where you're from, where you're originally from, and and how you grew up. Ah, that's a good question. I'm originally from uh, Boston, Massachusetts, but oh, really? um, as of now, I spent the majority of my life in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. So I have a, a good balance. Most of my family's from back east, and uh, uh, but right now, Arizona is definitely like my my strong hub. So mm-hmm. I'm okay. now familiar with the Southwest. Nah, yeah, that's dope. How is it out there? Because I see actually a lot of people moving out there to Southwest and just Arizona mm-hmm. and Vegas. It's stable. It's stable. It's stable in terms of uh, climate, in terms of weather. We get crazy hot summers, but other than that, you know, we don't get a lot of natural disasters. So it's kind of like a safe hub. People tend to gravitate um, mm, okay. to okay. Arizona. Okay. Yeah. And for the people like me watching, what's the, what's the rents looking like out there like right now? The rents? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. If you would have asked me two months ago, rents were extremely high because we have mm. spring training. So all my wholesalers out there who look for income, uh, income producing properties, this is the place to be for that. Mm. Um, but as of lately, there are a few deals that are coming on the market just because of the, uh, the economic situation that we're in currently. You know, there's a lot of opportunity out there for people who are looking to pick up, you know, some properties. There are a lot of investors who need rents paid for <laughs> right now. And I'm sure that's across the nation. But yeah, yeah. As of yeah. today. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So 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 um so in terms of like how you grew up, I mean what 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 kind of um I mean what 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 school did you go to and what and what kind of led you to like get into real estate from like the point you were in school or like maybe like around what age and like maybe got you you know you that really piqued your interest? That's so funny because uh, I studied, um, my my major was biology and I was planning to go to the naturopathic school of medicine. (laughs) So I kind of had an interesting twist um, because I got into the mortgage industry around the time that I was 18. And so I had eight years of experience with that between processing, underwriting, funding, loans, and um, eight years later, I decided to look into getting my real estate license. So I have five years experience in that, but really my background in schooling, just it, I was diverted from the process and jumped into real estate and I love it. I haven't looked back since. <laughs> I can tell you love it. I can tell. So, oh, wow. That's beautiful. Beautiful. So what, what led you from the mortgage industry? And, you know, that's why I love real estate because there's so many different angles you can come in at. So diverse, what led yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but what led you from the mortgage industry into wholesaling and things like that? And and when was that as well? So, I got licensed as a realtor in 2014, mm. and I I started to learn um, the wholesaling aspect uh, probably about two years ago. So, but it's I mean, it's a completely different animal. It's different. Yeah. Are you asking about wholesaling specifically? If so, that's like, I mean, it doesn't require a real estate license. So, that's right. that's you know, right. my that's folks right. who, are, who are interested in that, it's a nice way to get into the more, I'm sorry, the real estate industry and learn some things fairly quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, even if, you know, you don't have a lot of cash flow or even if you don't have the credit, you know, there's opportunity there. So. Definitely, know, definitely know. some high pros of looking at the wholesale industry versus traditional retail. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. And I was just about to say as well, because I had a, I had another conversation in another episode um, on my channel as well uh, with somebody who was basically saying, uh, he was basically saying to the people that, you know, look at 
real estate as an agent, like, oh man, you know, they see million dollar listings, they see the suit and tie, and they just want to be an agent. They say, he said, he said, well, you know what, back up, become a uh, loan originator right now, mm-hmm. because that's the new angle of, uh, of real estate, that, of, of basically wealth in real estate. So he said, instead of, you know, getting that, I'm you know, getting licensed as an agent, get your NMLS number and start that way. I mean, there's pros and cons to that. I think it depends on personality and where you see yourself fitting in. Um, I definitely think it's a benefit for someone to have a loan originator's license. You know, the more knowledge, the better. Um, You know, the more avenues it gives you, the more uh, creativity you'll find yourself in when helping assist people moving forward. yeah, I think that's smart. I mean, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't talk against it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he, he basically he was saying at the at the same time, you know, if if not like only getting into it first as a loan originator, at least you know look into it like you just said, and then you can actually get you know both commissions. So you know, as an agent and as a loan originator as well. So you're on the money right. side and on the on the retail side. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So, 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 what do you have going on right now? Because you know, a lot of people they they think about wholesaling. They think, uh, you know, they they just see what they see on YouTube and everything like that. But you really deep in the game. So, how like how would you describe the whole wholesaling business, and especially like right now, you know, with with what's going on, everything like that, like you know, at this moment. Um, wholesaling right now is at an interesting point. I think that if we look at the real estate market in general there are certain benefits to being in um, certain niches of it. So obviously three months ago, I think it was a benefit to be in retail because of how, you know, how high the, uh, the pricing and appraisals were coming in at, but now is the time for wholesalers, you know, everything is cyclical and you just have to find the opportunity in that. Um, Now with wholesaling, now is the time where, with distressed properties that are going to be coming on the market and are already coming into the market. I mean, you can pull reports currently um, for those of you who are utilizing, you know, escrow and title resources, pulling reports on 30 day lates. There's quite a bit popping up already, 60 day Mm -hmm. lates. And then those are the people that you want to contact um, to see, you know, what's available because, you know, last, the last report I heard is we were, this was last week. 33% 33% unemployment rate in the nation. Yeah, 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 if you can yeah. imagine, I mean, that's unfortunate, but if you can imagine the, um, the help and the opportunity that's going to be required of these people who cannot afford to pay their mortgages right now, um, I mean, that should set off like whistles and alarms in your ear. Yeah, so this yeah, is the yeah. time for wholesalers yeah. to get moving. And I've even heard feedback on, you know, you want to wait, wait 30 days, wait 60 days, we'll see what happens. Absolutely not. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. The early bird gets the worm, right? So the people who are starting now, you're going to be ahead. You're going to be on top. So I yeah, would get moving. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, Where you at? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you at? Where you at? No, that's true. That's true. And you actually just got my bells whistling because I was like, you know, I haven't been in the game really like that, you know, that deep in the game like 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 I was a few months ago. And now you made me think. I didn't re- I didn't think about the angle to get in the game like, well. Yeah, unemployment is crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of situations going on. A lot of people. Yeah. 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 Wow. 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 So, see, you already just made me, you know, bust a jewel in my head. Um, (laughs) And also, I mean, so in in other terms of um, opportunities in wholesaling, a lot of people look at it to kind of get distressed properties um, to turn into rentals. Um, What do you think about that opportunity right now as well? I think that's the see. Okay. So that's my specific niche. I love um, the conversion of uh, property into income income properties. Yeah, wholesaling is amazing. Um, I've learned to um, convert it to where I'm working with investors, like pull, pooling funds together in a REIT. And there are some properties that we let go, right? And we wholesale and others are kept for the portfolio. And within multifamily, you convert those over to um, income producing properties. That's, that's the way to go. Long term, that's where you're really going to make money. You can always make a quick buck or generate income by wholesaling, doing fix and flips. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're looking long term, income producing properties, that's the way to go. 
So. A couple of different properties in long term. Yep. And 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 you said long term, which is the next point I was going to make with you in terms of like, what, you, what is your, you know, and, and just, well, obviously you have that wholesaling as an engine right now to get you where you need to go long term. And where do you see yourself long term in real estate? Like, do you see yourself as the person with the actual portfolio, you know, like 20 <laughs> properties, 30 Absolutely. properties? Absolutely. So, yeah. so long term, I mean, I feel like no matter what happens, I will always have my feet in the, in the real estate game. It's just so exciting to me. And like I mentioned um, earlier, the market goes up and down. It's cyclical. Um, there may be economic conditions for a while that don't really, you know, aren't the best for some people. But at the end of the day, people will always, 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 always need a place to live. Yeah. Real estate is secure. So whether that's, you know, purchasing properties to sell or purchasing properties to rent out when people can't afford to, you know, like a mortgage, people are going to need yeah. somewhere to live. So um, long term, definitely uh, increasing a portfolio of, of properties um, yeah, yeah. For, for income producing. Yeah. 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 Yep, no, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, yeah, of course. Of course. And, and, and with that as well, I mean, do you do you. Um, rock with any type of like sub tools and lease options and things like that um yeah depending on what it is that my clients are looking for specifically i work with um plenty of folks who are just looking to to purchase their dream home or purchase uh you know a first time home but then i also work with multi multiple investors so definitely getting creative on financing for them and then creative for financing with lease options for folks who are looking to purchase for themselves. Yeah, no, lease option and all that. It's like a different beast to me. I, I haven't really got, yeah, learned the ins and outs of that yet. <laughs> Become a subject matter expert. I feel like if you're gonna be in real estate, the more you know, the more you know you have at your disposal to make things happen, which yeah. equates to the more possibilities to generate income in real estate. True. What is Very it about true. really? <laughs> yeah exactly exactly okay. <laughs> i love how you're breaking it down yeah <laughs> and, and, i mean and speaking of that as well i mean are, are you still uh, doing agent work as well i am yeah okay yep. i'm like me getting my license i uh just got licensed over in florida working on texas you know it's about wow. growing 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 and I like that. i mentioned within wholesaling you don't need a license it's not required um, it's just another tool if you're right. interested in taking it further. So. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. And and also for people watching, you know, they 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 love wholesaling and they have a passion for it, but maybe they haven't reached the numbers they want to reach, or maybe they haven't even closed their first deal yet. I mean, I know you probably get this question all the time, but for people watching, I mean, what would you say to them? Like, how can they close their first deal, especially like you know, in the opportunities that's going on right now, or even if they close, you know, a couple of deals, but they want to have it more to a more consistent level. How do you close your first deal? Yep. You get out there, start looking for opportunities. I would go door knocking. the The number one rule is right. What does Brett always say with TTP? Driving for dollars, right? That's right. right. You get out and you scour neighborhoods. That's literally free. Do door knocking. Look for distressed properties. Um, even if you don't have the relationship with title companies to, you know, draw reports, you can literally use your eyes and see like that looks like an opportunity. Do some. Uh, skip tracing you know mm -hmm. get out there get contacts knock on doors look through the tax record do what you need to do to contact right. these people right. and once you, you find a good deal you know what i mean even if you're knocking on someone's door and you know they're they're there having that conversation with them i feel like that is like the winner right now you know, a couple months ago, it was all about skip tracing and finding these, you know, properties more than likely they were vacant. But now, you know, knocking on someone's door who's actually home may be more of a benefit to you because you're getting the opportunity to do a face to face interaction. Yeah. And one third of the country right now is in a position where, you know, they may not be able to afford their homes and who knows for how long. So yeah. If I'm just like, I'm going to keep emphasizing, if that doesn't scream opportunity to you, yes, then yeah, yeah. maybe you're in the wrong field, but true, true. door true, knocking right true. now, that's a winner, winner, winner. Mm. You never okay. know. Okay. You're going to get no's, but it's a numbers game. You'll find that oh, yes. Right. And that yes will turn that. into another yes, which will turn into another yes, which will turn into another check. Man. 
to, to another check. That's the last day. <laughs> and I hope the people out there is watching me because you know a lot of people they need to, you know sometimes they need to, they need to hear the motivation, but they need to they need to hear something to make them you know get off the couch or, or get off get out there you know it may really make things happen. You right. Know? That's how people are, for the most part, you know, natural behavior. Like, they want to see something happen first, and then they want to jump into the game. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And also, just just in general, I mean, do you have any other um, any other career aspirations or any aspirations in general? Anything you're working on? You know, because I, I feel like when I, when, I, when I see you, it's like you, you're doing a whole real estate thing. But I, I think I told you before, like, man, I mean, I feel like, you know, just with your whole frequency, like, you could do a lot of different things. But, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, are you working on anything? Else? <laughs> <laughs> um, currently working on real estate full time. That's my passion. Um, I'm in the in the business of helping people. So in whatever aspect that falls into, um, a lot of my content recently isn't necessarily focused more towards real estate, but just on people in general. You know, I'm I'm a people person. I care. I care. So just seeing what's happening right now in the world um it it just weighs on you you know when you speak to people and and seeing how it's affecting them so just keeping you know positive and making sure we're checking in on the person next to us and you know our neighbors or our family across across the country or even someone in the grocery store yeah, you know yeah, mental yeah. wellness is that's yeah. that's major so that's yeah, my message yeah. right now so to answer your question in short yes i'm focusing on that as well but excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> And and do you have any type of routine, like you know, any type of in terms of health and wellness? Like do you do you like do any type of yoga, any type of meditation? Um, I any do type of- have a meditation practice. Um, I used to be a lot better at it, and you know, in terms of allocating time. Um, I was talking to my business coach, and we came up with a plan. And I'm like, you know what? There's no reason why I can't take, you know, five minutes out of my day, three times a day, to just sit and literally center and meditate. Exactly. And to me, that makes it easier than, you know, saying, okay, let me spend 30 minutes in the morning or at night, you know, break it down, keep it simple. And it's a good way to check in with yourself and then exercise. I can't sit my butt down. So (laughs) I'm moving. I'm like getting everything pumping. Yeah. Yeah, I love to work out. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of that stuff is important, you know what I'm saying? Especially for people like us who's entrepreneurs and, and it takes, you know, we, we exert a lot of energy, you know, more than the regular, uh, you know, nine to five because we work a lot more hours than that. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, we yeah, sometimes we lose our, we lose ourselves, you know, in the process. So um, right. you know, meditation and exercise, you know, these things are so important, especially for us, you know. Yep. But um but that's good to see that you obviously you're centered um with that type of activity and everything like that. Uh, man, this is great. This is great, great, great. So so if anybody watching as well, you know, do you have any any words of inspiration, not not only just in real estate and wholesaling, but just 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 in general, you know, for people. Yes, that. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely, definitely not um, focused towards real estate in general, but mm-hmm. just um, being conscious at this time and where we're choosing to focus our energy. Um, there's a lot of things that are going on in the world right now. And especially with social media, which is a great escape. I'm guilty. You know, I run to social media yeah. every now and then and I <laughs> look at the yeah. content on there. Sometimes it's a good distraction, but just being aware of what you're allowing to permeate your mind. um, It's good to use resources as information, but to be too consumed in following the trickles and, you know, too much of one thing is not good. I'll just say that. So just being mindful of what you're allowing into your mental. And if, if you start to read something or you're, you know, you're finding yourself sucked into something and then you start to feel a certain way, that's usually your body giving you an indicator that this information is no good for you. Put it down, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. I see. That's, <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. 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 Wow, wow. I mean, man, I mean, that, that's, that's, that's basically 90% of everybody, you know. Yeah. They consume too much and it's too much of the wrong thing. So you have to stay in the mean of everything in life, man. Oh uh, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I uh, mean, look, listen, again, another great episode. I really appreciate the time. I mean, thank you. Uh, you know, from from all the way from the southwest and this is showing this is showing you right now, you know, I was trying to get on for a little while now and you know, she was doing her business calls and just extremely <laughs> busy, but she made the time and that's really just what it's about. You know, you have to make the time. You have to do what you have to do. You have to schedule yourself. You have to, you know, um put the right activity in front of you and it can happen. 
make it happen. You just have to make it happen for yourself. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it. you. So, yeah, that's your boy. Everything about Jonas. Another great episode. Continue to like, share, subscribe. And if you want to contact um Hanifa, um for any type of uh, you know business, I guess uh, well, I, I put any links that she wants me to put in the description box below. But I guess any type of mentorship can can they contact you for any type Absolutely. of Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. This is what I do. Okay. Right? Excellent, excellent. I mean, yeah, she got the she got the mentorship glasses on. So if you want to hit up on, on, on that, <laughs> all the links are below. Um, but yeah, that's a great episode right there. And um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Okay, take care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great episode. Yes. Sir.